Hello, I'm the proud superintendent of the Brownsville Independent School District. And here I am at Stell Middle School with a wonderful group of students who are with me. Say hello, boys and girls. And we have the staff here, but today we were here to honor three outstanding volunteers, Mr. Jimenez, Mr. Cruz, and Mr. Rosales. These volunteers are all members of the Border Patrol and they come to STEL to support our students, to mentor the students, to provide them advice, and to listen to our students. We at BISD appreciate all our volunteers and thank them because their service is so important to us. Thank you, volunteers. Thank you, U.S. government, for allowing our volunteers here at STEL to come during their lunch hours and spend them with our students. We appreciate you. Good morning. My name is Arturo Rosales, and I'm part of the uh, Chiefs program here at Stell Middle School. We come here to mentor our young, our youth of the community because everybody needs a nudge in life. Everybody needs that, uh, that molding, that, uh, that path in life where, you know, we, we get to the why in life and we decide whether we want to be good or bad. And we all, all of us need that one person to say, you know what, this is the way to go. This is the way you need to go. And uh, we all, we've all had it in life. I have mentors, everybody's had mentors. So that nudge, that nudge hopefully comes from us for these children and they can go and take the right path in life. And that's what we come here to Cell Middle School to do. And hopefully they, uh, you know, we help all of them. But anything we do, anything we can do for BISD to, uh, to better our youth of the community is always good for us. The United States Border Patrol is always getting behind the youth of the community and we wish to keep doing it here in Brownsville because we're all part of this community. I'm Ove Leal, the principal at Stel Middle School. We're here recognizing some volunteers, some very special people that come to our school and discuss problems or any situation a student may arise. So I'm gonna have our counselor, Ms. Chavez, explain a little bit about our Chiefs Mentoring Program. Hello, thank you very much for honoring our volunteers. They do great, they do a lot of work with our kids, they speak with them one-on-one, -on -one. and this is the Chiefs Mentoring Program. It's Chiefs for Warriors because we're all warriors here, and uh, these Chiefs come in, they're caring, helpful individuals, empowering our fabulous students, and they really talk to the students one-on-one, -on -one. they mentor them, and they guide them for future decisions and anything that they're going through at the moment, so I really, really thank them. Thank you, Mr. Lal, for allowing us to have this program in the school. Thank you. So let me tell you a little bit about the program. Uh, last year, we started a program by which we honor individuals who volunteer, who give up their time, who come and help schools. So anybody else, uh, no volunteers? Anybody know any volunteers? We have parent volunteers, we have business volunteers, and we have agency volunteers. And so we go to all the schools and we involve the principal and we involve everybody and we film it because we want our city, Brownsville, beautiful city, to know how powerful the volunteers are for us and how much help they bring to us. So here at Stell, we're going to be honoring three volunteers. And you're gonna help me welcome them and as I introduce them, we're gonna interview them and they'll be able to talk a little bit about what they do, okay? So let's start with our first volunteer. Our first volunteer is Arturo Rosales. Mr. Rosales. Congratulations. You, here we go. You want to come in the middle here? Yes, here you go, Mr. Rosales. Thank you, ma'am. And then, uh, Mr. Rosales, uh, as a school district, we want to thank you. We understand you give back to STEL by volunteering, by mentoring, and you don't know how, how important it is for many students to see someone like yourself uh, in the community. Uh, tall too, uh, you know. Uh, I would have loved to have a mentor like you when I was in the eighth grade, you know, because I was into sports a lot. So I always running and chasing after people and stuff like that. So obviously um, you do a lot for Stell and we wanna thank you. I also know that you work for the federal government and we know you keep our community safe. Yes, so thank you very much. Let's give them a round of applause. And I'm gonna ask uh, Ms. Chavez, our counselor here at Stell, to say a few words 
uh, regarding uh, our volunteers. Thank you, Dr. Sandejas. Uh, yes, our, our mentors that come in uh, once a month, uh, this was the Chief's Mentoring Program, and they started, uh, they volunteer to come in and talk to the kids during their lunch hour. They sit with them individually, one-on-one. -on -one. These are some of the kids that they mentor here in the front. And uh, it's a wonderful program, and it was started here at Stell. And it's Chief stands for, it's Chiefs for Warriors, and it stands for Caring, Helpful Individuals, Empowering Fabulous Students. And these are our fabulous students that they mentor. Thank you very much, Mr. Rosales. Thank you. Mr. Leal, would you like to say a few words? Just so you know, I personally know Mr. Rosales. We went to school together, and him and his brother were in the, in the same football team, and yes, I was his bench, because they were bigger than me and stronger. <laughs> but it's, it's good to have some of my own people that I know helping the students that we serve. So it's a great opportunity. We thank them, and we thank all the uh, mentors for our students who really need it. Thank you. Thank you. Now, Mr. Rosales, uh, are you from Brownsville then? Yes, ma'am. What, uh, tell us a little bit about yourself. So, born and raised in Brownsville, Texas. I grew up on Avenida del Sol. Uh, if you don't know where that's at, it's right behind the, uh, the new target, right? Our old target, we remember the old target. Uh, went to Burns Elementary, uh, went to Bella Middle School, and graduated from Hannah High School in 1999. So I'm just like you. Um, I grew up here, like he said. We grew up together. Um, him, and, uh, him and his brother grew up with me and my brother. So it's, for me, it's very important to give back to my community. I'm very involved in my community, been involved with uh, the youth of our community for going on about 25 years now. So for me, it's very important to do this, um, and because I was, I was you, you know, I was, I was that kid that uh, that kind of needed the little nudge, and um, and look at me now, right? So the the U.S. government, like she said, I'm a, I'm a federal employee. I work for the United States Border Patrol. Been with the United States Border Patrol going on 17 years. Um, if I didn't have those mentors growing up, my coaches, my, my teachers, I still see some of my teachers. I'm still in contact with some of my, my teachers. I just spoke to my fifth grade teacher not too long ago. She's still my mentor. Uh, we, we, we needed that little nudge. Um, and uh, had I not had that little nudge, God knows where I end up. But look at me now. Uh, the, the, government, the U.S. government has given me more than I could have ever imagined as a, as a 12, 13-year-old kid. I also didn't see avenues until people started showing me avenues. So for me, it's very important to show to show you guys that somebody from our community that's just like you can do what I do. So thank you guys for having us. Thank you. Thank you very much. And congratulations on uh, being part of this team. Uh, I think the, the students benefit from you. Uh, so uh, we appreciate it very much. Thank you. If you could take a seat here while we introduce our other volunteers. Our next volunteer is Joe Cruz. <laughs> Mr. Cruz, here you go. You want to come here in the center? Yes. As we said, Mr. Cruz, we appreciate very much everything you do. And the fact that you give up time from your busy schedule uh, that you could be doing, having lunch somewhere else at a nice restaurant, and you come here and and work with kids and talk to students is admirable. So I want to thank you, and again, uh, let's give them a round of applause. <laughs> Would you like to say a few words? On behalf of Stelso, we appreciate everything you do for our students. I know our students are always happy and eager to see you. They come out of the cafeteria. I need to go to my program, so we thank you. Yours. Now, Mr. Cruz, uh, where are you from? I am originally from Brownsville as well. Oh, really? What yes, year did you graduate? Uh, high school back in 1987 from Porter High School. Oh, wow. Very good. Mm -hmm. Very good. And how long have you been part of the uh, uh, Border Patrol? Yes, ma'am. I've been with the Border Patrol for 15 years. I'm going on 15 years this year. Wow. Congratulations, thank and you. thank, thank you, you so much. much. Thank you. Would you like to say a few words? Uh, yes, please, just shortly. Uh, I, it's been a pleasure, uh, and I appreciate uh, all your kids coming to me and opening up as well, talking for a little bit. You know, I learned a lot from you as well. Hope you learned a lot, some, something from you, and that you, hope that you could take with you, you know, throughout your, uh, your life, from your early life from now. So I wish you all the best, and hope that you'll maybe see you next next year or uh, new students out there, you know, um, I want to give back to the community and that's, that's my goal.
Thank you. You're Thank welcome. you very much. If you could take, oh, we're going to take a picture. Uh, are we going to take a picture? We're going to take a picture first. Oh, there we go. And our next volunteer is Jorge Jimenez. Jimenez, here you go. Congratulations. We're going to give you this. And Mr. Jimenez, as we said about uh, the two other individuals, we want to thank you uh, for giving uh, up some of your valuable time to come and sit down with the kids and uh, see them eye to eye because sometimes that's where you really uh, read the soul and understand a little bit of, of what they're going through and you are there and supporting cell school students and we truly appreciate that okay tell us a little bit about yourself um, I'm originally from Los Fresnos I graduated from Los Fresnos High School um, and it's a great opportunity to you know that you have given us here to mentor your your students um, I have 10 years in the patrol and it's great. It's been great that we're able to do this with everybody. Thank you very much. Let's give them a round of applause. <laughs> and boys and girls, I think you, you understand when you work for the federal government or you work for BISD or any organization, you have certain rules you have to follow. And I know that the rules for these men uh, are a little tougher in terms of parameters, in terms of the time they, they spent in their uniform. Because this is their uniform and they honor their uniform. And so when they come here in uniform, that means that uh, they're taking time from their busy work schedule to come and help you. And because of that, we honor our volunteers. So let's uh, go ahead and take a picture and then we're going to take a picture with everybody. Let's start first. All our volunteers come up. Do you want us I'm to? Okay. Is that a good picture? Okay. Now let's uh, let's get a couple of the students that each of you mentor. So uh, students that are mentored by some of these individuals, you want to come and join us? Because this is important. A couple of students. Anybody? Come on up. Yes. Who else? Go ahead. That's fine. Maybe we can have uh, uh, some of the boys take that knee in the front just to make sure. Yeah, why don't you take that knee so that we can uh, have enough room? Well, we're going to ask our volunteers uh, in a little while is to give an interview about what it is to mentor our students and, and what value they find in mentoring our students. We're also going to ask some students to give us an interview of what you think about your mentors. How do they help you? What, uh, what kinds of uh, discussions help you, uh, maybe in your classes, maybe at home, etc. And we all had mentors. I think we all had mentors. Uh, we had mentors in high school, we had mentors in elementary school, um, and we had mentors in, uh, as we grow up from our workplaces, we also develop mentors. So you're always uh, grabbing on to people that you can learn from, because that's what mentors are, people that you can learn from. You don't hang around with people who you don't learn from, because then you're not seeking the best. So 
Uh, we really appreciate the three of you, and we appreciate also the government allowing you to come and, and um, do this. So please tell your superiors that we are, uh, we are very appreciative of your time here at our schools, and we want more. So <laughs> if uh, next year you, have, you would like to help us in other schools or you have other, other uh, colleagues who would like to help, please let us know. We, we welcome you with open arms. So this concludes our program. Let's give our mentors a round of applause.